In this training video, we're going to look at printing with headers and footers in Microsoft Project. So if I go to the print area through the file tab, in this example, I've already set up the print. So I can see, for example, in the top header, I've got the logo of the organization concerned. Bottom, in the footer, I've got uh, created by myself. In the center of the footer, I've got the page number and the company office skills again. And I've got the name of the uh, project in this example, Engineer Recruitment Project. So how was this all set up? So in effect, it all comes through page setup. So if I go through page setup, I can now look at my header and what I did here, the header side. I inserted a logo and that was on the right hand side of the header. So I, I minimized the logo, I made it small before I imported it. If you bring it in too big, it's hard to change the size of the logo in project. So I brought it in, so I brought, the, I, I, res I sized the logo before I brought it into project and that's how I brought the logo in by choosing insert picture into the right side of the footer. So that's how the in the right side of the um, header. So that's how the logo was inserted into the right side of the header. Now, for example, if I would go to the footer area, it looks a bit messy in the preview. But as we can see down the bottom, it looks, it looks neat when it comes out in print. So what I did to the left side of the footer, I just entered the text created by myself and I formatted the font the way I wanted it through the A button. So I just formatted the font. The next section of center, page number was automatically provided by project. I also added company name. But for company name, I need to set properties, which I'll show you after I've gone through the page setup. So company name, if I hadn't set the properties, I wouldn't see office skills and the page one. And I pressed enter to make it look as, as I wanted to look. The right hand side of the page, I then wanted to put in the project title. So I went through and added project title to the right hand side of the footer. And again, this had to have a property. So underneath these different areas, you've got things like project name. So that's what I added for the engineering recruitment project, you got all sorts of options, but these have to be set up under properties. So where I can see the option for the name, the project name, that was done through properties, and that's why I got engineering recruitment project. So now you know how this was made up through headers and footers. So everything was prepared, I put it in and I added fields to the, the bottom, to the left, center and right of the footer. The logo was resized before I brought it in. Then I brought it in and positioned it towards the header against the right hand side of the header. So that's the way this was set up. If I now show you about properties and how you can get things like project title and company name put in, that's under the info section within project. So in the same area as, as print, if you look up a little bit, there's info. Underneath there, there's project information. We can go through advanced properties. And underneath the summary, you'll see title, which is the engineering recruitment project, and you'll see company office skills. So that's where it is all set up. Back to print. And I can now show print in different ways. Print one and one, preview it. So that's what page one looks like in print. Now you might have seen a page two. That's my notes page. So I've got notes turned on. If I go to the notes page, the headers and footers come through. So very, very clever with print. So print, you can do quite a lot with headers and footers, all through page setup and through the use of properties. So for example, in the footer section, where we can see company, that came through 
where we can see company name company name right there so that's where that came through so you can see now by using fields within and, and, and properties within project you actually get to use them within the headers and footers themselves ready for the print the project title which is the right hand side of the footer where it's got engineering recruitment project that field was completed in the properties so by completing properties you're really giving yourself good options in areas of print and when it comes to going through page setup to print headers and footers within Microsoft project so this completes the training video on printing with headers and footers in Microsoft project if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching